Andy Warhol in a world so small. You have so many paintings. Where did you get them all? At the mall? Your images are all the same, manufactured in a lane, untamed by the dame of Marilyn herself. With all her fame and wealth, she sat on the back shelf until Andy came along and sang her a song like she was an icon all along. But they smoked bongs and wore thongs, and they were fashion swans with perfect lawns. Everyone wanted to be in their world. Basquiat was a pearl, found like an oyster in a shell. He was going through hell, and he rang the bell to fame by calling Andy's name. He knew who he wanted to meet, and he hung out in the streets to meet and greet. His graffiti was art from the start, but he was like a dart that hit Cupid's arrow, because the narrow-minded millionaires, who were squares that didn't care, came to care and want his art, calling him brilliant from the start. But he wasn't ready for fame, and sometimes I feel like Andy is to blame. But I can only shame the game of the system. The wisdom from within is a sin that Andy and Basquiat both win in the end, because art is the heart of this world, and to be known and loved for it and remembered through time is what most artists can only dream of.